Because <laughs> <laughs> really, how want me to see a painting being produced on the spot. Yeah, so Can you see what it is yet? So you imagine I'm at Ascot and the horse is walking past, I only have a few seconds, so I almost have to go Phew. So I'm imagining up there and the Queen's horses are going around, because this is the free parade before the jockeys, the horses go around and the jockeys. And, um, but just quickly, um, because I'm going to do it so well, I've got loads of time to speak. Um, <laughs> when, I, when I first went to Ascot and Henley, uh, I arrived and thought, this is amazing, what an amazing place. And I heard people talking, they were saying, are you coming here tomorrow? And I said, tomorrow? You mean people go there for more than one day? And people, and people go in the middle of the week. I thought everyone worked six, five, six, seven days a week. I didn't know people went to these places, dressed up, drank champagne all day, and looked gorgeous. So I thought, well, that's life for me. So I thought the only way I ever going to get involved in going to these wonderful places is if I go and paint them. So that's kind of how it goes. So now I've sort of turned up and paint, and it's my excuse, it's my ticket to get in free. And since then, I've got into all sorts of places. I go and say, it's all right, I'm an artist at the end. So, so I go and sort of do something, and I go, oh, there's this hat there, and there's a few people there, and then I feel like something there. And I go, oh, and there's a sort of bit of flash of red somewhere about the kind of there. Oh, yeah. There's a bit of sort of black there. So I paint you really quick because this horse has just walked past, and I'm just waiting for another one. There's a bit of a saddle. Dark there, and then uh, so I kind of just try and throw colours. But I promise you, I don't normally paint this part at home. And I kind of just sort of look, and and, and uh, when I paint, I'm not very vain when I paint. I kind of just throw the paint on, and um, just see. Can you see him now? Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, um, the reason I got really quite, well, I, I'm, obviously when I'm doing these major works and everything, I, you know, it doesn't take me an hour or ten minutes, or you can t I can spend a month, I can spend three months, I can spend a week on something, but you know, I'm quite good at kind of working very, very quickly. Um, one day I was asked to go paint for a charity match, um, and it ended up being a big rugby match at Twickenham, and they said, and I said, okay, so what do you want me to do? And they said, can you paint the match? And at the end of the match, she wasn't pushing it off. And I said, oh. and I said, so of course, you know, I said yes. And I always say yes. If, if anyone asks me, I go, yeah. I'm that, you know. Well, I say no to some things, but you know, I, you know, I sort of go, yeah, yeah, sure, I can do that. So I literally had two lots of 40 minutes or 45 minutes to do this painting. And, and I did it. So what I did is that I did sort of green. And then these kind of, like, there was one team that was like red and blue, and another one was green, yellow, or whatever. <laughs> and I kind of did these blocks of colours, and then a few sort of pink legs, and a bit of mud, and, and, and a goalpost. And suddenly, at the end of the match, I had, I had a painting. Um, and so I realised that I could almost do paint anything if I had to. So under pressure, I um, kind of find that I can almost, you know, oh well, have a go, and see if something appears. So it's a little bit of what I'm doing tonight, just having a go. Um, so there's his face, it's just stopping his, his hat to um, the Queen, I think, actually. And, yes, and, and I sort of look for lots of colour and light, so, oh, and then I'm going to, there's a little bit of his glove there, so I'm just going to put that in, there's a little light around there. So I kind of paint, and just put in lots of light and dark, just a little light up there, and the, from here there's a little bit of a hat there, and look, like there, didn't like there. It's a really nice place. Good old Tesco, is what I say. <laughs> 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 Did you get any better yet? <laughs> 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 I, I, I painted um, um, Seb Co Lord Coe the other day, and um, he was sitting, it was like a charity event, and I, I did it, started it like this, and I turned it around, I said, oh my god, it looks just like Steve Obex, you know. <laughs> 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 well, luckily he laughed. <laughs> so, yeah, that was quite good. I had a painted his talk a couple of weeks ago, so that was quite interesting. And um, someone said to him, so how, how come, um, so how did you manage to get um, the Queen and Daniel Craig? And he said, um, 
there was a, was it the producer, is it Danny Boyle? Yeah. 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 Um, phoned him up and said, can I be involved in the Olympics? He said, yeah, yeah, that'd be really, really good. And um, Danny Boyle said, he phoned me back a few days later, he said, I've got a really good idea. He said, what's that? He said, well, there's two icons of um, Britain. It's the Queen and James Bond. He said, what about getting the Queen and, and, and James Bond jumping out of a helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> exactly was the conversation wow. that he had. So he says, what he did is they went to Princess Anne, and, she, and all she turned around and said was, which helicopter do you want? <laughs> and from that, from that moment, the whole thing was set in place. But I thought, can you imagine that? It's really part of the conversation and how it works. So yeah, it was quite interesting.
And I've only had two glasses of wine, so it's not bad, is it? Is that a hit you'd like another? No! <laughs> <laughs> no honestly. Well, I, well, yes, but no. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit excessive, you know, if I drink and I have ten, you know, I don't just, can't just have fun of anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm just, well, there's too many people in the background to do too much detail, but um, I've got this guy here, and then the head here, and he's doffing his, his hat, which is really nice, I'm just, um, been reading a really good book. It's, you know when you re read a good book and you like it, it stays in your mind? Uh, I've just read um, Dark Five. Has anyone read that? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, the fantastic. Just finished it today it's and it's like, it's still stayed with me. It's really, really good. Yeah. So it's all about, um, well, it's not really about the gun, um, um, uh, gunpowder, but it's a really good book. It's a good read, yeah. It's probably there. Um, and then there, Actually, the jacket comes down a bit lower. Mm. Just shove it there. But you can see it's floating around again. Oh, the last of, I love the kind of the extra bits of like the braid. And then black. That's really nice. Got that. And you've got a lump of white there. So, um, but you can see as, as I'm moving around. I mean, you're really trying to stay at a such a distance. Because the amount of times I've been painting, so I normally paint like this. And I remember standing back right on someone's foot, and they hollered in my ear. Ah! You know, and I jumped, and I turned around and hit you with my paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> you ended up in paint, and I ended up there. <laughs> so people do sort of call it, it's an artist, you know. Yeah. And then it goes, yeah, are you a real artist? <laughs> yes! <laughs> You don't see many artists. Oh, thank you. All oh, right. <laughs> 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 it was a, it was a, it was a story ha happened to me because um, you know trying try to be a mum and be, be an artist and you know, and and I've always tried to pretend that to my kids that I was a full time mum, not an artist. Um, you know, so that when they when they're at school they think I'm at home cooking, which I'm not. Anyway, and uh, and, and all the other mums all look like nice mums. So I used to go to school. When I got home, I put my clothes on inside out. So I painted, and then when I went to go back to school to pick them up, I put my clothes on the right way, so they didn't see all the dirty paint stain <laughs> mother that was turning out. You know, I wiped the face all the paint off. And I turned up, and I was telling this story one day to a, a group of school children about what how. How I managed to be an artist and a mum and everything, and, and how I wore my clothes inside out. And how one day I was in this waitrose, and the woman said, Oh, look, your pockets are hanging out. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, all oh, your labels are hanging out. <laughs> 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 and everybody was like, looking at me, going, Oh, God. And I was telling this story, and then I was in the, um, having a cup of tea with all the, um, all the teachers, and the teacher came in and said, Oh, there's little Henry is in the playground, and his jumper on the inside out. And she told him, and he said, It's all right, miss, I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs>